my friends Duncan and Joe decided to join me. Say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I had a brilliant idea, not today, actually yesterday, to do a New Orleans classic, Muffalettas. Camera shy. Yeah, you're very camera shy. We are like shorter than both of us, so you see like... I'm shorter, I'm not used to being the shortest person in the room. You see half of me. Here we are. Hi. Actually, you're shorter. No, Without the mohawk shit. thing. Yeah. yeah. So, tonight, I'm cooking under the influence. Muffalettes with a twist. Big old rotund rock like, hard block of cheese. So you like Flamunda cheese. Flamunda cheese, exactly. Welcome to Cooking Under the Influence. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host, your chef du jour. My name is Sean, and you've already met my live studio audience, Joe and Duncan. You mean your sous chefs? My sous chefs. You can certainly be my sous chef, no problem. Obviously, we've already started drinking without you. This is vodka and soda, which is my old standby. However, this vodka, I thought it was Z. Apparently, it's three. What's, this, what's the deal with this? It's made out of soy. It is distilled from soy. It is a gluten-free, carbohydrate-free vodka. Okay. The problem with that is, Tell alcohol is. is already carbohydrate free and gluten free. It turns into sugars after you consume it, a calorie level of 7 calories per gram. So tell us the point of gluten free, carbohydrate free vodka when vodka is already carbohydrate and gluten free. It was on sale. <laughs> oh, now you're talking my language. Eight dollars a bottle. But I talked them to give it to me for six dollars a bottle when I bought it. It tastes interesting. It's nothing you're gonna bring on the rocks. It's no, I wouldn't bring this on the rocks at all. As you can see, I have already made bread dough on here. I didn't film the filming of the bread dough. A because I've done it before, and B because it takes a thousand freaking years. And this is a different kind of thing. This is the bread dough you don't have to knead. So go back, look at my bread dough, same recipe, but this is all I'm doing. I add a little extra water, wet hands. And every half an hour for three hours, you take the corners, pull it, and just do that four times. That's it. And then cover it back over with a little plastic yeah. for your coffee. With his it was a venti iced chai, skim milk, sugar-free vanilla, three shots. Don't justify what? this. Exactly. God almighty. That's just, just asking for shit to get fucked up. That's what baristas are for. You know that baristas are the people that... Just love working at the McDonald's that get your order wrong, right? Yeah. You just have a fancier name. They call them baristas instead of the fucktard at the drive-thru window. And our pepper that Duncan decided he had to take a bite of. You want to try it? Already did. It's good. That's my pepper I grew in my garden. <laughs> Six cups of flour, and instead of a cup and a half of water, I use two and a half cups of water. What's the purpose? To make it airier. Airier. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the yeast forms carbon dioxide gas. It has. It's easier for it to push out the bread. Yeah. So it's basically a lighter, fluffier bread. It's lighter and fluffier. I also found out that children aren't learning how to write in cursive anymore. That is true. That's frightening. Yeah, it's true. Children. International can't... people don't send your kids here because they don't know how to read script like a Z. And rolling pins fucking suck. Just like Julius Child said. The only thing they're good for is beat shit. That's all you can do with it. But let's roll it out with our hands. Wet your hands, like I said. If you don't have a silpat, what's the preferred greasing technique? If you don't have a silpat, then try and use a nonstick pan and butter it or oil it or some use some kind of grease surfactant thing. You've seen silpat before. This is the silpat I have out here. This is the blue silpat, same fucking thing. So we have a bottom layer of our muffaletta, just bread. So what goes in a muffaletta? If you've ever been to New Orleans and you've had one, you know that there's a variety of things that can go in there. Ham, mortadella, salami, provolone, olive salad. Olive salad is the thing, the one thing you really truly need to make it a muffaletta. Otherwise it's just a sandwich. Mortadella always looked a little scary to me. You ever seen it? Yeah. 
It looks like bologna with cancer. What is more than that? It's, it's like fatty bologna. Uh, what the fuck is bologna? <laughs> it's all the best of pig that nobody that else you're wants. probably best off not Exactly. Knowing. James, great. Bring it out, Because I'm smart and I remember to do it. 410. Perfect. So let's get a bunch of ham. Pile that on there. So what is this? Oh, that is a drink that we need to try, gentlemen. Okay. It's an Irish something that's now legal, but I did see what actually kind of liquor it is. You like that label? Bunratty or Bunratty? Bunratty is Bunratty. a town in Ireland. Okay. This is a drink that we have to try. Pachin. It's a moonshine. Perhaps you haven't. Yes, it is moonshine. And I love the label that says that it is now, now legal. It smells like a Laffy Taffy flavored mouthwash. That's kind of sexy. <laughs> you want to feed You want to put your meat in your mouth? Hey, salami is one of the cheapest meats you can buy because I ordered a pound and there's like thousands and thousands of slices. So I, was, I was offered my own TV show twice. We filmed the pilot. It's hard to offer to pay someone with no money and all you can pay them with is I'm cooking something and you can have whatever I cook. And by the way, it may turn out shitty. We've got our ham, the ham, and we've got a whole bunch of salami. Truckloads of it. Dunk it a little bitch. It smells like oh, banana laffy taffy. I Joe's from fucking Lynn. You know what it smells like? It's like bouquet of dumb dumb lolly chops. Salami. Salud. I know you've had worse in your mouth. <laughs> Provolone cheese. Just make a nice little layer of that. A big old rotund rock like, hard block of cheese. So you like Flamunda cheese? Flamunda cheese, exactly. Welcome to Cooking Under the Influence. Alright, last ingredient. Olive salad. You probably don't have olive salad where you're from. We do. Because you live in freaking Iowa or St. Louis or some dreadful place like yeah, that. Yeah, but they have corn salad up there. <laughs> corn salad. Oh. I Pull me back for the corn salad. That's some god awful fucking vodka. What? Oh, wonder, uh, no wonder it's six bucks a bottle. Yeah. Here is a perfect example of why I have my diatribes on gluten free shit. Because it fucking sucks. Yeah. Is your vagina acting up? It's dripping. Oh, Duncan has the menses. Alright, the olive salad, it's way too oily, so we're going to drain some of that oil. The good thing about that, about muffalettas, is there's so much vegetable fat, you don't need to add mayonnaise, butter, any of that, because it's got tons of fat in it. After I drained it, this is some of the oil that I absorbed. If you don't have fat, you don't feel full, and you keep eating, and you balloon up to the size of a freaking mansion. To a fat fuck. Here's our base of our muffaletta with our dough, our ham, salami, provolone, and tons of olive salad. That's a whole quart of olive salad. It kind of looks like a New Orleans birthday oven. cake. I just do half sriracha and then half non sriracha. shake it off first. Sriracha. I sriracha. never thought of sriracha on a muffaletta. Oh my god! <laughs> Cheese grate the jalapenos and make it uber spicy? Let's do this. Sous chefs? Really? We need better titles. Oh my god. Y'all are smart and shit. We're gonna take our other half of the bread and spread it across our little muffaletta loaf. You my garlic I grew in my garden is this big. It is this big. It's very small. It's tiny. Teeny. But he wants to put it on the sandwich. I'm like, fuck, go ahead. Yeah. Fucking why not? Fresh garlic is the greatest thing in the world. For those of you that live in areas of the country where you don't believe in that, I highly suggest that you do. Well, apparently when you're Sean's sous chef, you're his bitch. You make his drinks. Best show ever. This has risen nicely. You put it on a muffaletta bread. And one of the hallmarks of muffaletta bread is sesame seed. I'm going to add some sesame seeds. This is not a muffaletta. This is muffaletta stuffed bread. To get the best crispiness on the outside of the bread and softness inside of the bread. We're going to do steam. Put our bacon pan in there. 
fill it with water. Holy crap, this is a lot of food. 410 degrees. Let's put this in there. When you expose the bread to the extreme heat of the oven, the yeast has what's called a balloon, and it makes a very rapid rise. The steam allows the outside of the bread to stay soft so it can bloom to its maximum potential, and then once the steam evaporates, it forms a very nice crust on the bread. So we're going to do the reveal without them. Fuck them. Sous chefs can do this. This has been baking about 30 minutes at 410 degrees. God, it's glorious. It is glorious. If you could smell this kitchen right now, you'd probably commit you to this recipe. And this is hot as all fuck. This fucking thing weighs right now about 15,000 fucking pounds full of meat and cheese. I want you to look at this. This is what a lot of your pouring grease all over the floor should fucking look like. We have spilled grease all over Sean's floor. It's not my fucking house. I don't give a shit. So, yeah, because apparently I have some embarrassing accident happen with my pants. Don't, we've already recorded Show that. Thanks. That this right here is what a muffalata should look like. Golden brown with sesame seeds. How's that look, America? You like that? Well, that was a nice grease spot here. Oh, shit. It's very yeah, greasy. Not just on this one. What y'all do to my floor? Hang on, I gotta fix. I gotta fix. This one's yours. Whoever's yours that is. Oh, it's hot! Ah! Did he get a fork and knife? You really did. Wow. <laughs> He's a pussy. If somebody can't cut a sandwich, fuck. Is it tasty? Let's find out. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're right. Oh god damn. That's freaking awesome. That tastes great. <laughs> Joe, Duncan, y'all been an awesome studio audience. You've been very entertaining. Until next time, enjoy your muffaletta and muffaletta bread baked inside of the bread. I need a song. Adios and bon appetit.